what we want to create is airflow, bringing in cool air from the front of the case and exhausting the hot air out the back. To do this, we use case fans. Some cases also bring in cool air from the bottom and the side of the case, and some cases also exhaust the hot air out of the top of the case. The case we're using for this build includes three fans already installed two in the front to bring in cool air, and one in the back of the case to exhaust the hot air. There are places for five more fans, two on the side panel, two at the top of the case, and one at the bottom of the case. We're not going to add additional fans to this case. On a previous build, we added a 120 millimeter fan to the side of the case. The fan came with a three pin power cable, and a 3-pin to 4-pin Molex adapter. On the side of the fan, there is an arrow that tells us the direction of airflow. We'll turn the fan so the air flows into the case and slip it into the fan bracket on the side of the case. On another build, the case did not come with a rear exhaust fan, so we installed a 120 millimeter fan. This case had no fan bracket, so we used the self-boring screws that came with the fan. We wanted to have the fan blow air out the back of the case, so we turned it so the arrow was pointing towards the back of the case. To install a fan with self-boring screws, hold the fan from the inside of the case and secure it with a screw from the outside of the case. Put the second screw into the opposite corner from the first. Securing the fan with all four screws will reduce vibration and noise. Back on our current build, we'll connect the fan's power cables in Lesson 9. In the next lesson, we'll install the hard drive and SSD into the drive base.